Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 17. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this episode was really good, uh, I liked it a lot, especially the Barry and Iris stuff, I thought that was really powerful in the episode. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first bit. So at the start of the episode, it started kind of abruptly with the team trying to create the artificial speed force. I don't think we've seen anything on it in a few weeks, so apparently cisco has been working on it like behind the scenes with Nash, I guess. And also Caitlin probably, but she made an appearance in this episode that was very brief. I had my theories about why she hasn't been showing up recently, but you can sort of guess that she's been potentially working on this with Cisco behind the scenes. Anyway, so this thing is on it's functioning and it nearly works but then it stops and it basically doesn't function and they need to create a new version of it that's going to be in the next few episodes i wonder if it's going to be in episode 19 the finale because you know they would have definitely restored barry's speed by the end of like the last few episodes so my guess right now episode 19 we could be seeing that i guess it could be next week as well but 19 is probably the best bet as of right now. But this machine is based on Reverse Flash's tech and the way that he created his own speed force. They were obviously using Nora's journal to build this thing and to actually create this artificial speed force. But then we move on and we've got Mirror Iris and this episode is really heavy on Iris and Barry and I think that's why it works so well. But anyway, so Mirror Iris and Camilla, who is obviously a mirror version of herself as well, talk with Eva and this right at the start you can tell something is wrong or something is up with this mirror version of Iris. This whole time she's had sort of her own consciousness compared to say Camilla or Singh more recently. And so you get this sort of weird interaction with Cecile and fake Camilla and at a certain point right after this Barry reveals that Iris isn't Iris. So at this moment you're like oh my god thank god Barry like finally this has been since episode 10 it's episode 17 now it's been seven episodes such a long time that Iris has been locked away and no one has realized but Barry has been theorizing and working on sort of figuring out who his wife was for at least like a week or so. So he's cooped up at Joe and Cecile's house that's where he's been staying and he's been theorizing and working out what's going on with Iris. So he comes up with some ideas, he's like, this can't be a doppelganger because Crisis destroyed the multiverse. And then at one point he thought it could have been a Martian, but then he figures John would have actually been able to tell if there was another Martian here, so it's not a Martian. And he figures something has happened to Iris on the night that she investigated McCulloch Tech because it all started from there where he is traced back to that point. Because, you know, he's a CSI, he works out all of this, so it makes complete sense that he has the ability to sort of comb through everything that has happened, and it makes sense that this isn't Iris. A really funny bit was when Barry mentioned that Iris made really, really good pancakes. Like, we all know Iris can't make pancakes, and that was a great moment. And he basically spells out before the end of this sort of rant that he knows in his heart this isn't Iris, and the real Iris is out there somewhere, and that is what he's gonna do throughout this episode. Anyway, so then we go over to Ralph and Cisco. Like I mentioned previously, we get to see Caitlyn. She hasn't been in the last few episodes. So we think something is up with Killer Frost, but it turns out something is up with Caitlyn. Her doors are all frosted and ice is sort of everywhere and Caitlyn is essentially ill and something is up with her and we're gonna see the return of her mum in the next few episodes I guess to try and cure whatever's wrong with her. I don't really totally understand what was happening to do with her to be honest but anyway so then we go over back to real Iris and Eva so Iris finds something she finds this room and all is revealed to normal Iris. She knows everything that has happened with Eva. Eva's been working with these mirror versions of all these characters. She knows that now Camilla and Singh are also in this world somewhere. They are stuck. She needs to rescue them at some point. And she knows about like fake Iris out there being with Barry and being with Team Flash and such. And also it was interesting in this episode all the mirror people were calling Eva mother which was kind of weird but I guess kind of cool. And so then they reveal they need blood work. We see the return of blood work. That was a great surprise. I did not know. Even though I'm not like the biggest blood work fan, it was just nice seeing someone familiar and someone who I didn't actually know was going to show up. And normally at this point, like normally stuff gets leaked, but 
this wasn't leaked, so it was a very good surprise. And so after this, Barry confronts Mira Iris. They sort of shut the doors. He has Nash and Cecile with him. Cecile was actually very good in this episode. I did like her a lot. I'm not normally the biggest fan of her, but she did a very good job in this episode, and I really liked her. But anyway, so they're in this room confronting this fake version of Iris. So Barry has this machine. He's trying to find out if this is the same, like, sort of refractive version of Iris using this device, and it turns out it doesn't work on Iris. But Iris takes it, and it works on Barry, which it's later revealed Iris's plan. With Eva's help, they're able to change the device, and that is how they switched it to make it look like Barry is actually the mirrored version of himself rather than Iris. And so Barry's locked in the pipeline. But eventually Cecile lets Barry out, she releases him from the bite line because she can tell something is still off about Iris and she knows that this is the real version of Barry and she just trusts her instincts and her feelings obviously by using her powers which makes complete sense. But anyway, so Caitlyn gets out of this frozen coma at the same time whilst additionally the mirror versions of all our characters, they're all with Bloodwork and Bloodwork is still in Argus, they need his help and he actually gives it to them but not before the mirror version of Camilla dies and you know straight up she just walks through the thing and she gets like obliterated by the force field or whatever it is anyway so that temporarily puts down like the force field and then they essentially need his blood he gives them the blood and he does it in like a weird way where he's like choking Iris and then he goes back in his cell and he explains he is playing the long game and basically this suggests he's gonna return sometime in the near future I would guess next season probably so we will be seeing more of blood work is what you can see from the scene he's playing the long game but anyway so he gives the blood to iris and sing is flung across the room i thought sing was dead turns out he's not anyway so then mirror iris goes back to her apartment and this is to create some sort of pathway so eva can escape the mirror verse and at this point cecile is releasing barry barry runs uses some of his speed to get to the apartment just as Mirror Iris is saying success is assured to Eva, so she's exposed. And this moment was like a massive moment as this is what we've been leading up to for seven episodes and this Mirror version of Iris has been exposed. Iris has freaking Terminator Mirror arms. They shoot out of her arms and she uses them as swords essentially. She's stabbing Barry, they're having this massive fight, it's Barry versus Mirror Iris and Barry is getting absolutely obliterated by her and he's got blood everywhere, he's got cuts on his face, his chest, his legs. She's basically using all the mirrors. They've planted a load of mirrors in this place to let Eva escape earlier in this episode. And so he's getting stabbed left, right and center by her arms and by all these shards of glass. And at one point he looks up in the air, the glass shatters, it goes all over him. Barry gets stabbed in the stomach two ways. And at one point towards the end of the fight, right as everything is about to end barry's bleeding all over the place he's essentially gonna die in a minute because his speed force powers aren't working you know he's got no speed healing or anything he's just like a normal person and barry tries to get through to mirror iris and he does and this mirror version of iris basically finds her humanity and she is killed by eva and this is through the normal version of iris actually getting through and basically uh getting to eva and eva starts freaking out mirror iris gets weak and you know vice versa but then barry gets through to mirror iris but then eva sort of gets up and then she essentially kills this version of iris and whilst eva's freaking out I'm not gonna lie, I think she was the weakest part of the episode, I don't think the actor's that good, I think the character is slightly interesting, not that interesting, I think what's more interesting is these mirror clones, like Mirror Iris is very interesting, I thought the way she went out was really really good, but I think, I don't know, Eva's not like the strongest character we've ever seen. So anyway, this version of Iris dies, Eva escapes, she meets Barry for the first time, she doesn't kill him and she just says, you know, get out of my way Flash essentially and she's gonna go after Black Hole, after Joseph Carver and so Barry is bleeding on the carpet and at one point towards the end it seems like he's gonna die, he's dying, blood's all over the place and then it cuts to black, goes to the Flash logo and then we have this final scene where he gets up, he's seemingly a bit better, and I don't think he's actually dying, he's just very wounded, essentially. 
and so you get this really really great moment right at the end with Iris and Barry and this sort of encapsulates why I thought this episode was so good. It's down to Barry and Iris, it's down to Candice and Grant, I think they did an amazing job in this episode but this moment is really touching and they touch hands at the end through the mirror and it's your classic West Allen moment that I think we've been waiting for and it really paid off so it was a great end to the episode. And next episode, I think normal Iris is going to escape. I think Barry's going to find a way. So maybe that will be the focus of this episode coming up. But we'll check out the trailer after this. And my trailer breakdown will come out sometime either later today, but probably tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. That is the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.